Uh, we, we had an earthquake in 1989, the Loma Prieta, and uh, it crippled uh, these aging elevated structures. So um, they had to decide, are we gonna invest hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars of rehabilitating this? Or um, the other option was to tear it down and replace it with the surface boulevard and invest heavily in public transport. So it uh, became really embroiled in a lot of controversy, but um, when they did the benefit cost calculus and you know the public officials weighed in, uh, they more or less said, okay, let's, uh, it's gonna be most economical, um, not only in terms of mobility, but also the land use urban redevelopment effects of tearing it down. Uh, so that's what they did. Um, so um, they tore it down in 1990, and it took uh, a good 10 years before uh, the Embarcadero Surface Street Boulevard, uh, which is a four to six lane road. And, and a boulevard also often has parallel um, local access roads. So it provides direct property access as well as throughput. So the idea is you can replace some of the uh, car carrying capacity of an elevated grade separated limited access structure with a boulevard. Uh, and it, it largely did that. Um, and, but again, it wasn't just a boulevard. They put in a streetcar line uh, as well. Um, and uh, you know, it, it had immediate effects. I mean, I mean, a lot of the redevelopment was happening prior to actually the teardown of the freeway, but um, we did a study and we looked at the effects on population and employment and uh, changes in land use and industry profiles. And it was quite significant. And, you know, it, so, so the research pretty much was down about if um, boulevards, or, I'm sorry, freeways create these barrier effects and negative externalities. If you tear them down, do they have the opposite effect? And yes, they did. So it, it led to massive redevelopment 